Now coming to culture media, we have different kind of culture media such as simple media, complex media. In the complex media, we have differential media, enriched media, enrichment media. Then the selective media, indicator media, transport media and anaerobic media. So let's talk about these media one by one. The first one we have is the simple media. Simple media means uh, the media is simple. So it can be either nutrient agar or it can be nutrient broth. So nutrient broth is the liquid media, liquid culture media and the nutrient agar as the name suggests it contains agar, agar, 2% agar, 2% agar is a solidifying agent. So agar is just a solidifying agent and nutrition is via this nutrient agar. In the nutrient agar it contains peptone and meat extract. This gives nutrients to the bacteria to grow. So in this nutrient agar there is 2% agar which is a solidifying agent and peptone and meat extract is the nutrient in the nutrient agar. Next one is the complex media. So in the complex media, we have talked about we have differential media, selective media, enriched media, enrichment media. So let's talk about these media one by one. First one we have is the differential media. So in the differential media, as the name suggests, it is going to distinguish the different characters of a bacteria. So we have McConkie's agar, which is the best example. McConkie's agar is not only a differential media, it is also an indicator media, it is also a selective media. So McConkie's agar differentiates the bacteria, either the bacteria ferments the lactose or doesn't ferment the lactose. So lactose fermenting bacteria in the McConkie agar, they will give the pink color so if you can see this is this area is the lactose fermenter bacteria and here this side there is no discoloration no change in color so this is a known lactose fermenting bacteria so the McConkie agar differentiate between lactose fermenter and non lactose fermenter in the lactose fermenting uh, bacteria we have examples such as E. coli Klebsiella also we have examples such as late lactose fermenter. So late lactose fermenter, you can remember Shigella Sony. So Shigella Sony is Sony. That means it is Sona. Sona means it is sleeping. So it is a late lactose fermenter since it keeps it keeps sleeping. You can remember. So therefore it gets late. So Shigella Sony is a late lactose fermenter. Then this is a McConkey agar in the image based question you can get questions like this you can get a question of any of the culture media and based on that you can get questions. So this is a McConkey agar in which pink color is the lactose fermenter and uh, the yellow color that remains as the non lactose fermenter. As you can see this is a this is a uh, image for McConkey agar and E. coli we have already studied about E. coli Klebsiella both are the lactose fermenter and late lactose fermenter is Shigella Sony. So this is a red color, pink color discoloration in the McConkie agar because of the lactose fermentation or enterobacter aerogens. This is also a lactose fermenting bacteria. You can see here non lactose fermenter. They are not going to ferment. They are not going to give the pink color or colorless. This selective, this is also selective media. This is also indicator media. So McConkie's agar is a differential media, selective media. It is also a differential selective and indicator media so the selective is due to the ingredients which is p l a and t p is peptone l is lactose a is agar n is the neutral red and t is the torocolate sodium so this is the selective agent torocolate sodium is the selective agent in the mcconkey's agar now coming to enriched media remember the word enriched in the enriched it ends with the word d enriched is very important for exam point of view so it contains solid culture media while on the other hand enrichment if you see this is a liquid culture media and this is the distinguishing feature from enriched to enrichment media enriched media ends with d so it is a solid media the example in case of enriched media it can be a blood agar in the blood agar we take 5 to 10 percent sheep blood chocolate agar which chocolate is used there is no chocolate used in the chocolate agar it the color of chocolate agar is chocolatey that is because of the lysis of the blood lysis of the rbc which causes the chocolate color bhi agar which is brain heart infusion agar and low filler serum slow so if you see blood agar in the he blood agar causes hemolysis of the blood it can be alpha hemolysis which is a partial hemolysis and because of this there is greenish discoloration beta hemolysis is a well-defined colorless zone of the hemolysis and gamma hemolysis is no hemolysis so this is the difference alpha hemolysis is seen in streptococcus viridin streptococcus pneumoniae and beta hemolysis is seen in streptococcus pyogens while on the other hand gamma hemolysis or no hemolysis is seen in enterococcus 
so if you see hemolysis of the blood this is alpha hemolysis which is partial discoloration partial hemolysis and because of the partial hemolysis there is greenish discoloration which is seen this is a e coli it can also be seen as in streptococcus viridin streptococcus pneumonia beta hemolysis which is a well defined now here you can see uh, in this culture media in this blood agar this uh, this is a blood agar right guys this is a blood agar in this blood agar this is a blood agar in this blood agar if you put the bacteria if there is a hemolysis anywhere you can see a well defined zone are formed because of this bacteria so these well defined zones are seen well defined colorless zone are seen in beta hemolysis uh, in the blood agar that is seen in case of streptococcus pyogenes gamma hemolysis there is no hemolysis the color is unchanged in the blood agar the color is still bloody red so there is no hemolysis and it is seen in case of enterococcus or staph epididymis so basically there is no hemolysis this is a chocolate agar you can see this chocolate color that is heated blood. this chocolate agar is a heated blood agar in the if there is a rupture of the rbc that causes this heat because it is heat treated blood agar and this heat uh, causes the rupture of the rbc and that causes the chocolate color of this chocolate blood agar chocolate agar the chocolate agar example of the chocolate agar can be you can remember from not mg hector mg hector is a car not mg hector i don't want to buy mg hector so not mg hector n is neisseria species m is meningococcus g is gonococcus and h e is hemophilus now questions from these uh, enriched media are a medium with egg blood or serum is an enriched media remember it ends with a d so enriched is a solid media and enrichment is a liquid media both are complex media apart from that we have talked about differential media differential media the example is mcconkey's agar which differentiate between lactose fermenter and non lactose fermenter so blood agar chocolate agar and low flour media all are example for enriched media usual concentration of blood that is 5 to 10% sheep blood is used blood agar the type is enriched media in the blood culture broth the ratio of blood to broth is 1 is to 10 and 5 to 10% of the blood is used enrichment is a liquid enrichment is always a liquid culture media this you have to remember it is always a liquid culture media so enriched media ends with a d it is a solid culture media and enrichment is always a liquid culture media now the what is the difference between enrichment and selective culture media so enrichment it is going to enrich or stimulate the growth of the bacteria suppose you have this culture in this culture there are many bacteria and you want to see a particular bacteria so the enrichment media is going to accelerate growth of a certain bacteria right of only this bacteria it will accelerate the growth stimulate the growth or enrich the growth while on the other hand in case of a selective culture media if there are many organisms many bacteria it is going to inhibit the growth of the others and it will let only one person grow so selective media works on the inhibition principle it inhibit or suppresses the growth of the other while on the other hand the enrichment media works on the accelerated growth it works on the enriched growth it works by stimulating the bacterial growth to be, that is to be grown example for the enrichment media is selenite f broth it is for salmonella and shigella and tetrathionate broth is again for salmonella selective culture media is mostly solid it is used to isolate bacteria from a mixture of organism it is going to let the selective bacteria grow it to will inhibit the rest of the bacteria so what happens it uh, the, there are certain substances that are put that inhibit the growth of the other bacteria example for selective media is uh, lowestan johnson lowestan johnson media this is for mycobacterium tuberculosis then we have thiosulfate citrate bile salt this is for vibrio cholera bile salt agar again for vibrio cholera then we have low flour serum slope low flour serum slope is for cornibacterium diphtheria deoxycholate citrate agar is for salmonella and shigella so these are the selective medias so selective media contain the chemical which prevents the growth of unwanted organism it will prevent it will not let the other organism grow and that is how the selective media works 
uh, another examples for the selective media is buffered charcoal yeast extract agar this is for legionella mannitol salt agar it is for gram positive bacteria hectoin enteric agar is for shigella salmonella thiosulfate citrate bile uh, sucrose or bile salt agar it is for vibrio cholera we already talked about potassium telluride agar is for diphtheria and wilson blair's bismuth sulfide is for salmonella typhi liquid selective media is an enrichment media and the solid selective media is the enriched media differential media can be blood agar it can be mccomkey's agar or it can be thiosulfate citrate bile salt sucrose media ph of subaurate agar for fungal uh, for fungal staining so subaurate agar is uh, used for fungi for candida also we use this the ph is 5.4 culture media for fungi is routinely is subaurate agar then basal media provide a source of carbon and nitrogen and this was a question asked previously basal media provides a source of carbon and nitrogen for example nutrient agar nutrient broth or peptone uh, water are the basal medias